Today I will break down how I made this edgy typography scene. Yo, hello, it's Povico Editing Visuals here, and real quick guys, before we start, I want to tell you that we have an Editing Visuals website where we sell video editing assets and presets for video editors just like you. We also just dropped our newest pack, TV Glitch Pack V3, which I really recommend to check it out, and let's begin. For this breakdown, I will be using the one and only Falling Music video, and here I have selected a couple of cool shots to just get into that typography part, so this is the first shot where we have like these cool eyes and then uh, here it's still gonna be text here but we have this cool crt part which i'll make more crt a bit later and here we have this really cool part where it gets darker i know that in this part it's gonna type uh, like it's it's a day of the dead so the first i will type just it's and this is the font i use georgia uh, regular and also 208 pixels and settings like that and we can press ctrl d and now we can type like a because it's a day of the dead now we can press ctrl d and type Type day and then press ctrl d and type of the because i think you can sometimes not just have one word but you can have two words and then the final text is gonna be dead right we can select all of them press ctrl shift d and it will cut them up and i'll just bring them up like a bit so like that and you can just delete the other parts like that so we don't need them and now just honestly place your texts wherever they're supposed to be now what we really need to do is make this to the center so to do that you can go to align and here where it says uh, align vertically just press that and then align horizontally i'm editing in 24 frames per second which i really recommend to do and i also have 180p we don't need to change anything the first text can be very simple and now let's go to a and we can press ctrl shift d to cut the its part out and just delete it what we can do now is extend the its part a bit one frame forward because this is a little trick I like to use it like overwrites it basically all right so now let's find a cool font for a so let's go somewhere just let's just scroll down I like CGO UI so I'll press them on here just to make it centered it's gonna look better and what I like to do after having a normal text is just press s it will bring up the scale properties and you need to press constraint proportions right here and I like to make this to like two times larger so 200 and again, align it back to where it was. And then I like to cut this one frame out right here because it will look cooler. And then here I like to make the first frame of this like hella high, so like 600, 666 and also align it like this. It, it will look like it's gonna be stretched because the one frame is gonna be stretched. And that looks pretty cool already. Now let's bring the day word. So honestly here, I'm just gonna press pen behind this tool, holding control and just do this so to just have it centered like you guys already know what to do and for day i'm just gonna use the normal georgia and i'll press s press on this button make this 200 because i really like it like like this and i can just cut like two frames like here because i want to add some cool text effects and also i want to drag one frame on top of a and then cut that frame now right here i'll make this back to 100 and a really cool text effect i like here is s stretch frame edges where it says center squeeze i like to make it to zero and it will have this also stretch effect so at first we had this stretch and now hit this let's go here two frames forward from here and for this one i like to do a little trick i'll make this 50 percent so so here it was 200 now here's 50 and i like to do what i like to do here is go to the rectangle tool and just draw a little rectangle I guess like that and then drag it below cut it up to, to the text uh, amount right here and where it's day double press on it and make it to dark so it will give this kind of cool effect and it will glitch a lot like this like i don't know i really like that look and now let's just go 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 i will go like right here press s and make this to normal again to 100 i like to press ctrl d Cut it to one frame, just cut it to like that, and add it like on top of here. So we really want to make this glitch. So here I'm gonna stretch this out a lot. So press S, and this one make 922, and then this just 53, and I'll change the color to red. This will give a really edgy look. And then at the end, we can go like right here, and then at the last frame we can also press Ctrl D, cut it to one frame, and here we can stretch it like on top like that. Yeah, that looks really cool. And now it's gonna say of the. Here, what I like to do is honestly very simple. Just press S. I like to make this as tiny as I can. So this is the before the last text. So I like to make this extremely small, like 32. And now we can just go to align and align it. And for this text, like here, it's dark. 
in the background and then I like to have a background right here and the background is something cool with like CRT and then we can cut the day out of there we don't want these like to mess around and I also cut out one frame here and then add like a different frame where it's kind of bright to just have that impact and yeah for this text I'm also just using Georgia 280 and then the last text is the dead text so for this text I like to use a font from the font uh, and the font is mb forever raw so it's a really cool grungy look i don't know how to say it and i also like to press s and this one i like to scale up my kind of idea is before the big text like the final text this is the final text it's a day of the dead for the final text i like to have it big but before the final text it's small so like that and then the big because it gives that cool impact i don't know and then we can go to align and yeah, just align this and that and you'll have a really cool text and also what i like to do is Press on it like that and go to character and make it red. Now that looks super cool. Remember you can get this on the font and I like to add some effects on this. So the first fact I like to add is add grain. I like to make the intensity to 4.8 and also check on the final output right there. Size to 0.5 and then I like to add noise. Add it on top actually. And I like to make the noise to 62%. That will give a really grungy look and yeah, so it's going to be, it's a day of the, and then dead. So again, the idea is at the start, I have a really simple text. Then I have a little stretch for one frame. You don't need to have it longer. Then it's A, I stretch vertically and then just a normal text for two frames. And then I have it like this, which I, I really think looks cool. And then go two frames after that and we'll have the red stretch and a normal text and also a vertical stretch and then a simple small text and the final text which gives that huge impact for this whole edgy scene I really like to add like CRT effects because I think they really give emphasis to the whole look so for this one at the start we see like these eyes but we want to make them CRT so we can actually press ctrl alt y and just cut it up to like length and the effect I like to add is damaged TV 10 from my damage TV presets pack which I think looks super dope and it really gives that cool CRT look but I like to also press ctrl alt y again cut it up to like the exact amount and here I like to add deep glow which is a plugin and I like to make the exposure to like 0.19 and I also like to add s flicker on top of deep glow and here i like to make the flicker high like 0.44 and that will give exactly the crt look that we want and it will be very edgy uh, i don't know if i like the word for this but i guess it fits and we can also go like on this crt and for this frame i like to add something more low-key because i want to make it a bit darker so i'll press ctrl alt y again and cut it up to like the amount i want and here i will add mode darken which is actually going to be in my newest Damage C presets pack update, which I'll be releasing this month. So it will be actually really soon. This looks hella cool right now. You can keep it like that. What you can also do is you can right click, go to blending mode, and I like to make it to darken. And that will give that really dark CRT look. You don't want like a really bright background for like this text right here. And also another preset which I like for this is lens 12 fps which will also be included in my newest damage tv update in the damage tv presets pack we actually have over 30 presets and we will have over 40 presets when the next update launches and if you want to get this pack on an offer we have an ultimate damage bundle which comes in with damage tv presets and the vhs pack which the vhs pack has a bunch of overlays and also presets Alright guys, and the last piece of advice I can give you is to pre-compose all of your text that you had. So what I like to do is I like to select every single text that I had, but you have to have them all separately like that. And press Ctrl C and then go somewhere like here and press Ctrl V and this will duplicate the text. Uh, we don't want the last piece of text though. So the dead text can go away and then just select every text that we have like right here. Press pre-compose and just press OK. And what I like to do here is I go somewhere like right here, two frames before the ending. And I like to add fill and I like to make this to dark. And now let's press Ctrl Alt T and this will bring up the time remap keyframes. And I like to just drag them like, like right here. And this will have a really cool impact for the of the dead. Like as you can see, this will have this cool little part. It's going to be way more impactful.
And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. I've never done this type of video before. If you want more videos like this, then please let me know, because I don't know if like people like these videos of me breaking down my typography ideas. I just had this quick idea, and I wanted to share it with you. And just remember, guys, to be creative with this, and you can get crazy results. All right, guys, have a fun and productive day. See ya.